Hey, this is Mike with RPS Solar Pumps. We've gotten a lot of solar questions over the last couple of months. Today I'm going to go through those and answer some of the most common questions. Today's question is, how do I choose a solar pump? When choosing the appropriate solar pump, the first thing we're gonna look at is the size of the pump you need. And that's gonna be determined by the amount of water you need, either gallons per minute or gallons per day, and then your pumping head, and whether we're gonna to have to account for some pressure in that pumping head. But don't worry, we have a video on that in the description below, which goes over the details and how you're gonna size your solar pump. The next thing we're gonna look at is exact application. Depending on your exact application, it'll steer us to one pump or another. And so if you're going down a well, obviously you're going to have to do a submersible pump that goes down to the bottom of the well and pushes the water up and out. Now if you're doing a surface pump application, then we have a couple of different options. Sometimes we'll take that same submersible pump and we'll put it in the water source, whether that's a lake, a pond, a stock tank, uh, whatever you're pumping out of, maybe we'll put that submersible pump in there. But there are other options where we do a surface pump. These are much more popular where we're doing sprinklers, uh, maybe we're pressurized systems out of a tank. So a lot of times, say if you're pumping out of a storage tank, we're gonna take a surface pump, we're gonna put it down next to the tank, and then we're gonna plumb that all together. It's really nice because we're gonna have positive pressure, and that's really common when we're going into sprinklers or other pressurized systems. There's other times where we need to pump, say, a large pumping head up to the top of a hill from one storage tank to another. In those cases, we might take the submersible pump with a high head pump end on it, and we'll put that down in the tank and be able to pump from one tank, say 500 feet vertically to 1,000 vertical feet to where that water is needed. But we don't also require positive pressure like we get out of a storage tank. You can also pump out of another water source, say a pond or a lake, where we run a suction line and a foot valve up to a surface pump. And those surface pumps are capable of anywhere from 10 to 20 vertical feet of suction. And so there we can suck water out of our water source, whether a pond, a lake, a tank, and then pump it to where we need to go, whether that's sprinklers or a pressurized system. There's also solar powered air pumps. And so, so instead of pumping water in order to get oxygen into your lake, they pump the air directly down into a diffuser disc at the bottom of the lake. And this has two great benefits. First, it helps mix up the water and helps even out that thermocline, getting colder water up to the surface and warmer water from the surface down to the bottom, and also directly inject oxygen into your lake. So with advances in solar pumps these days, if you have a water pumping application, then there is a solar powered solution that's right for you. If you have any solar questions, leave them in the comments below and they'll be featured in a future video or we'll answer them in the comments. Be sure to like and subscribe. We're producing new content every week. So hit that notification button and subscribe to the videos to stay up to date on the latest solar pumping news.